Hello, my name is James Persad. I'm Director of Communications at the International Institute for Environment and Development. I have been here for a year now and am supporting the communications team and the wider research body to communicate its work with IMPACT and also um, the IED's work with its partners. Um, prior to IRUD, uh, I was working in a charity that redistributes surplus food to vulnerable communities across the UK and was responsible for a big campaign that got a lot of momentum and success in um, attracting funding uh, from the UK government. And for eight and a half years before that, I worked in a carbon reduction NGO. And then a long time ago, I worked in advertising agencies and marketing agencies for 11 years. I'm delighted to be talking to you about our new campaign, the Hidden Handbrakes campaign, exposing the unseen barriers, slowing progress towards the Sustainable Development Goals. This is a campaign that's going to be running for a minimum of, of two years. We've been fortunate in receiving funding from a partner which is enabling us to build capacity in the communications team um, and also in some of our research teams um, to help us to tackle some of the lesser known issues that we believe are slowing down progress. We all know where we are. It's incredibly frustrating. We have degradation in biodiversity. We have accelerating warming and we have growing income inequality. We have multiple multilateral agreements, yet every biodiversity target set today has been missed. 48% of species are in decline. New coal, gas and oil licences are being granted whilst climate accelerates beyond one and a half degrees of warming towards three degrees. And the UN's recently published that 71% of the world's population live in countries where inequality has grown. And the trajectory is awful. And we have you know, good levels of knowledge about what the problems are and, and the resources are available to tackle the issue. So what is it that's slowing down swifter progress here? This is what the campaign is intended to do, to shine a spotlight on the hidden handbrakes that are complex, technical, shrouded in legalese or corporate jargon um, and make it hard to uh, move in terms of um, public attention and public pressure. And we're going to create a platform where these hidden handbrake ideas can be shared and discussed and scrutinised and hopefully stimulate conversations and build a community of campaigners who can advocate in different regions around the world in order to um, get movement from their governments on some of these some of these blockers. Many of the of the blockers um, to effective climate action are well known, but some aren't very well known and they prevent research, collaboration, innovation and action taking place. And without finding ways to release these hidden handbrakes quickly, the chances of keeping warming under two degrees are remote with the consequences that we know um, we're starting to see um, across the world now. What is it that's holding progress back? Well, we believe, ID, that fighting these blockers starts with naming them. So as I mentioned, we were successful in receiving some funding to support a research and communications campaign focused on exploring these, generating new evidence about these, and then using that evidence to inform communications campaigns um, about each one. We're also going to be developing a web-based platform where other actors around the world can input their ideas as to what these hidden handbrakes might be into that platform so that they can be shared and discussed with other advocacy bodies and agencies and journalists 
and researchers that are keen to um, see swifter progress in, in the areas of climate justice, social justice and economic justice. We're going to have a couple of examples to help bring these hidden handbrake issues to life. This one is called Paying the Polluter. So this is where energy treaties and the disputes that arise from challenging historic energy treaties leads to a bit of paralysis on the part of national governments that want to do the right thing by investing in cleaner energy production but are locked into very pernicious um, legal agreements with the fossil fuel companies sometimes with 20-year sunset clauses so if you have signed up as a country to one of these energy treaties if you want to withdraw from that from that commitment um, in order to invest funds in more clean forms of energy production the threat of legal action by the fossil fuel company can often be enough to put you off withdrawing in the first place and indeed fossil fuel companies have sued state governments and been successful um, in doing so and even when some countries have been able to withdraw from a, a treaty uh, they're subject to this 20-year sunset clause now we are doing uh, new work in this area and we'll be publishing some exciting insights in in september but just to give you an illustration an example of one of these treaties is the the energy charter treaty which includes most of the countries in the eu plus over 20 other countries which protects 400 billion dollars worth of fossil fuel infrastructure and it has this devastating 20-year sunset clause so recently when uh, a country tried to withdraw from the treaty they were subject to a compensatory payment of 20 years of revenues to the to the fossil fuel company Another example of a hidden handbrake uh, is described as the debt handcuffs. So this is where the interest repayments on debt by typically uh, least developed countries or, or small island developing states outweigh the ability of that country to invest in adaptation or mitigation activities uh, in their own country. So, for example, in 2021 alone, 59 of the 76 countries within the LDCs and the SIDS groups had combined debt repayment of 33 billion US dollars, whereas they received 20 billion um, in climate finance. So more is going to wealth nations and corporate investors than is actually coming back by way of climate change, climate finance. Um, so it's creating this worsening position for the LDCs and the, and the SIDS um, as time goes on. Now we are again doing research in this area um, and have published some data which has sparked uh, media interest in the Hidden Handbrakes campaign so we've had some work cited in The Independent and in Carbon Brief and in uh, Thomson Reuters and we will continue this work over the course of the year. This is uh, the landing page for the beta version of the platform that we are developing. So we launched the beta version in July and we hope to do the hard launch of the platform in September in New York at Climate Week. The platform enables actors around the world to input their own interpretations of, of a hidden handbrake. So we encourage journalists and researchers, campaigners and other supporters of climate justice uh, and environmental justice to put their own ideas in, in order that they can be shared, picked up by others and taken forward in, the, in, in campaigns under their own steam. The next thing we are going to do is reveal and release these hidden handbrakes over a two-year period and beyond and use evidence to support our assertions 
developed by the ID research teams in, in partnership with other partners. And we're seeking multiple partners to create movements to tackle each of these issues. We'll be developing um, press releases and marketing campaigns through our own social media channels to bring attention to um, some of the shocking kind of injustices that are occurring as a result of this, these hidden handbrakes and really building a, a campaign and a, and a movement to, um, to tackle them. So as I mentioned, the hard launch of the platform will be in September in uh, 2023, later this month, and we will be launching it at an event in New York, Climate Week. We are uh, going to be hosting a panel, a hybrid event, and we will send you the invitations as soon as they are available. The campaign is really intended to create a community um, of uh, research and action. So we really want um, researchers to go on to the platform, have a look at the different handbrakes and use the ideas, the, the, the concepts that are there to stimulate um, ideas for further research and further policy recommendations, um, and also to journalists and advocators to build campaigns around um, these lesser known issues that are nonetheless hugely damaging to um, the progress the world needs to see on um, reversing climate change and nature degradation and um, increasing equality. And then the final sort of point is that um, it's only by working together that we're going to be able to uh, create this movement. So please do share it with your networks um, far and wide and um, encourage um, participation with the, with the platform and um, encourage your partners to input their own hidden handbrakes into the into the website. So here is the QR code which will take you to the landing page on the IIED website hosting the hidden handbrakes platform where you can find out more information about the launch itself and also browse the hidden handbrakes that have been <coughs> completed to date in order that it might spark ideas of your own for work to be done to uh, release these significant barriers to swifter progress to action on climate change. Thank you.